Belichick, I thought I would share even more exciting news about all the things you can learn in my upcoming Czech Four Quadrant Coaching Mastery Program, where we learn to turn pain into meaning and challenges into opportunity. I'm sure any of you watching this video knows that there's plenty of pain that comes naturally with the life experience, but oftentimes it shuts us down makes us grumpy, even angry people, sad people, and depressed people. But when we really understand how the life process works as coaches, we have the tools and the awareness and the life experience to help people take that painful experience and make meaning out of it so that they can move more efficiently into the creation of their dream and live the life they came to live. Life is also full of challenges, and oftentimes those challenges are perceived as some kind of a threat or some kind of criticism or uh, the feeling that you're never going to get what you want. But when you understand how the life process works, as a skilled coach, you can help anyone realize how a challenge is actually an opportunity. The Tai Chi of a challenge is if the challenge is the yang of it, then the opportunity is the yin of it. So let me share some more of the amazing things that I'm going to share in the Check Four Quadrant Coaching Mastery Program. And remember, if you come to the workshop, you get the entire online program for free, which is really an amazing deal. So I'm excited to share that with you. Now, some of the additional things that I didn't discuss in the previous videos where I share about the upcoming course that I'd like to share with you today that are very exciting to me because I know how powerful they are is we're going to look at what are called structure stages of conscious growth and development. I will share the fruits of many of the researchers out there that have now identified that no matter what religion or culture you come from around the world, there is a well-established, scientifically validated structure stage that our consciousness, our awareness of ourselves and our, our capacity to interact with life consciously and create what we want and understand life. So consciousness grows and develops in specifically uh, identified structure stages. And by understanding how to identify where your client is at and knowing what's relevant to that structure stage and what supports them and what they need to understand life and themselves at that stage, you can customize your coaching. Not only that, very few people understand the structure stages of consciousness. So what happens is people get trapped right where they are, not realizing that you can, can continue to climb the ladder of consciousness and grow yourself and each step you go up the ladder of structure stages of consciousness, the more freedom you have in your own life because you're more in tune with your creative abilities, what is possible, and you learn how to take challenges and turn them into opportunities, and you know how pain becomes meaning. So as a coach, knowing these structure stages gives you a clear path and shows you where you're guiding your client to, and also, should serve as inspiration for you to keep climbing that ladder and doing your own work because the higher up the ladder of structure stages you go, the more conscious you become, the more empathy and compassion you have for the people you're coaching because you know what kind of challenges go with each of those structure stages of development and you can guide them authentically, which feels good and it makes your work very easy because you already know the process internally. Next, we're gonna look at what's called vantage points of conscious perception. Vantage points refer to the different states of consciousness we can be in. You're familiar with three of the vantage points already. The main vantage point is called the gross waking state, which you're in right now listening to me. If you can touch your body and say, I'm here, I have a body, I'm looking out the window, you're in the gross state or the gross vantage point. Gross relates to the normal waking state. Next is subtle, which is weak, which we all call dreaming. So the subtle state is where we do our dreaming, whether it be daydreaming or imagining, fantasizing, or even uh, deep lucid dreaming at night. And that's where a lot of our meditative practices take us, especially things like active imagination, or if you're a shaman interacting with various nature spirits and things like that, 
And then from there we go up to the causal state which correlates to deep dreamless sleep. So you see the first three stages are stages we're in and out of all the time. We're all awake at some point during the day. We're all dreaming during the day and during the night and we all have periods of deep dreamless sleep. But when you understand how the vantage points work and you can use them as part of meditations or various work in practices, you can actually teach a person to remain conscious in each of the progressively higher vantage points. And that's called stabilizing a vantage point. And then you can interact with your dreams. And then you can actually learn a lot more about yourself. And what's magical about that is as you learn how to work through the vantage points, the ego structure becomes more porous because it's as though you're getting higher and higher up and your perception of yourself is not so trapped in yourself, but you can see yourself as though looking at yourself from the outside, which makes detached witnessing or observation much easier, and therefore you don't fall into, shall we say, program judgments of yourself, you can become an effective witness. When you can do that for yourself, you can do it with other people because you know how to do it and you have the skills. Then we're gonna look at the big eight archetypes. The word archetype basically means primal form or original form. So to quote the Pueblo holy man, Joseph Real, who describes archetypes very simply and beautifully, he says the archetype is the original pattern of anything. All trees come from the tree archetype. All rivers come from the river archetype. All planets come from the planet archetype. In other words, if you were to say, where did cars come from, as far as the energetic presence or the consciousness of the idea of a car, no matter what kind of car you have, if you were to round all cars up and to say, we're going to create a symbol that represents cars, then the archetype of the car would represent the idea that embodies the concept of a car. So archetypes are the ideas that we embody as concepts through which we act out our life story and we interact with others through relationship, and they also represent key roles that we go through in life. The big eight are the ones that are the most important because they're at the foundation of our conscious programming. So all of our thinking, even at the conscious level, is coming through these archetypes which are usually acting on us relatively unconsciously until we learn how to recognize the influence of the archetype and use its potentials positively and so the course that I'm going to share with you teaches you how to go through each of these in your own life and recognize what to look for in your clients. The big eight are first, the Imago Dei, which is called the God image or the image of God within. It's much more technical than I can describe here. Then you have the mother archetype. We all have to come into the world by a mother. Then we have the father and then of course the child. So those are the four primal archetypes, or what I call core archetypes, through which your whole conscious underpinnings are expressed, so like the base operational software. Then we look at Carolyn Mice's four survival archetypes, which is the eternal child, the victim, the saboteur, and the prostitute. And we learn how each of those is relevant to our growing and becoming conscious as an adult and participating in life fully, but we also recognize where we or our clients are getting stuck and that's skewing their conscious perception leading them to making choices that decrease freedom instead of increasing freedom so this is very very powerful uh, things to understand and have enriched my therap therapeutic practice and my own knowledge and experience of myself tremendously then we're going to look at the check life process alchemy system. It took me years and years of work and synthesizing and studying and practicing with my clients to finally bring this into a working system. I've developed a beautiful system that is really functions almost like a calculator. I call it the check, check life alchemy process. And by using this map, if you will, it's a one page diagram that contains each of the key things that you learn in the entire check uh, four quadrant coaching mastery so that you can use it to put inputs in if your client has this challenge with this archetype or this challenge with their core values or this challenge with their blood pressure or their heart you put those things in and using the principles of alchemy and how energy moves i show you right where to look to create a balancing effect in the client's life what you can offer them as opportunities it's very simple very powerful but like the tai chi symbol which is very simple 
sometimes the simplest things require the most consciousness and the most training from someone who has mastered them to really uh, teach you to use them at their potential. So though it sounds simple, and I can make it simple, when I teach you how to use it, you'll really learn how powerful it is only through practicing with yourself and with your clients. Now, the next thing I'm going to share with you is I've decided to offer an apprenticeship program. It'll be a, a, a group type program only for the people that really want to go into a one-on-one -on -one type relationship. It'll be a group coaching, but there will be each person can interact with me where we look at your case histories if you're working as a professional therapist of any type, doctor, therapist, coach. We'll share case histories. I will show you how to use all the principles that I've developed for check uh, four quadrant coaching. And we will give you a chance to process yourself and process clients so that by the time you finish the program, you'll have had my support to learn how to use this system at its full potential and two things will happen. You will grow yourself into a very centered, harmonious being through these practices, and you will then be able to use the knowledge I've shared with you to use the system and your own life experience at its potential so you can coach people very effectively, very efficiently, get great results, and there's nothing better than great results to market your business. In fact, marketing research shows every satisfied customer on average will refer you 15 future customers but every unsatisfied customer turns out to be a negative marketing force for the life of the client. So I've had a very, very successful career in coaching. I've worked with many of the most famous athletes in the world, movie stars, you name it. And I've used all these principles over the course of my development and myself and with others to finally bring it into a synthesis that I think I can share with anyone that truly wants to achieve mastery. So stick that in your hat and think about it if you really want to get some more intensive guidance than I can share at the workshop, I will be running a legitimate apprenticeship program. Hey, thanks for joining me. Can't wait to share with you whether you're coming to the UK or to San Diego, we are going to have a great time. Very powerful course. We're going to focus primarily on the practical stuff in the workshop and I'm going to let you do the other bulk study or background study online so I can really help you learn as much about yourself and how to coach people as possible in four days together. And we will do some Tai Chi and some breathing and have some good time hopefully in the sunshine. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Don't miss this great opportunity. I can't wait to share. I'm Paul Check.